Krakatoa tubes are a very famous experiment and one of the simplest experiments that you can do, but you should never try and do it at home. I'm going to demonstrate mechanical explosives. Now, this is something you, you would shy from doing anyway, is by uh, putting a, a heat source under a sealed glass vessel with some liquid in it. But we're going to do that. It consists of sealing some water into a glass tube. By sealing, I mean clear, closing the tube so the water can't get out. That's water in there. It's just coloured blue uh, with a dye so you can see it. And there's a couple of mils in a thin-walled glass tube which is sealed. The water boils, generates a high pressure of steam, and as the temperature goes up, more and more water evaporates and the pressure goes up and up, and then suddenly... I think that was fairly satisfying and a good demonstration of a mechanical explosion. Well, the glass collapses in an explosion. I reckon that it probably takes less than a thousandth of a second, so probably between one frame and the next on your camera, so it's very quick. Probably what happens is that the glass gives way in a particular point and the crack then spreads, and cracks travel through glass with the speed of sound, so it's really very rapidly. It's called Krakatoa after the famous volcano that blew up in 1883. The reason that Krakatoa is applied to these tubes is because of the theory, or one of the theories, why this volcano exploded. You have to imagine an island with a volcano, like a mountain, with, um, which had been erupting for some time and then there was a big eruption, and a little while later, a matter of hours, the whole mountain was blown apart by a massive explosion. The theory was that the lava came out of the top of the volcano and left a large hole, which was red hot, or even hotter than that, and seawater rushed in. Seawater at the normal sort of temperature, 20 degrees centigrade in the tropics. And as this amount of water went in, it was thought perhaps up to a cubic kilometre, that's a very large amount of water, it vaporised because of the high temperature of the rocks and the steam expanded and blew apart the mountain, just like our steam blew apart our little glass tube. And the violence of the explosion was such that it caused a huge tsunami which was big enough that the tsunami was still a few inches high in the English Channel, right on the other side of the world, tens of thousands of miles away from Indonesia. But the most striking effects around the world were the sunsets that were caused by the clouds of ash that went up into the upper atmosphere, and there were brilliant sunsets for several years afterwards. Now, with our glass tube, we have these shields around it, so the glass, when it blows out, is contained. But it almost completely disappears. You don't give, get a slightly broken tube. It effectively has been vaporised, or at least pulverised, into tiny shards of glass. And Krakatoa was similar, but the dust went up into the atmosphere.